the woman caught up in the scandal that brought down General David Petraeus. Jill Kelly speaking out for the first time exclusively to ABC News, revealing details about Petraeus' affair with another woman that forced the then CIA director to resign. Nightline anchor Juju Chang sat down with Jill Kelly and is here was so much more. Good morning, Juju. Well, good morning, Robin. It was absolutely the scandal that rocked the corridors of power. Jill Kelly referred to the CIA director as her best friend. They even had nicknames for her. He, he was James Bond. She was Safira, which is Arabic for Lady Ambassador. But for the first time, the woman whose initial call to the FBI set into motion the events that led to the resignation of two high-ranking officials is finally speaking out. But it was a shock today. General David Petraeus resigned. It was a political sex scandal in 2012 that read like a Hollywood spy thriller. Breaking news on the fast developing CIA sex scandal. A new mystery tonight about what really happened and when. The CIA director and retired four star general resigning in disgrace after an FBI investigation into an extramarital affair. And the general's mistress, his biographer, Paula Broadwell, accused of cyber stalking several of his friends and colleagues. So describe for us the moment that General Petraeus admitted to you who the stalker was. I saw him break down and he immediately looked at me in the eyes and said, it's Paula Broadwell. One of Broadwell's alleged targets, Jill Kelly, a well-connected honorary ambassador for the high-ranking military generals stationed at CENTCOM in Florida, including the top commander in the President, war in Afghanistan, you. General John Allen. How is it that you got so enmeshed in the personal lives of some of the most powerful men in this country? Um, I was very close to their wives. Um, they were my best friends. You were portrayed as the vixen, the femme right. fatale. Right. Set the record straight. Did you have a romantic relationship with General Petraeus? No. Did you ever have an affair with never General Allen? An, never had an affair with anybody in my life. I am so happily married. In her newly released self-published book, Collateral Damage, Kelly sharing dozens of emails she exchanged with the top military brass and dismissing claims that she ever inappropriately touched the CIA director at an Easter dinner in 2012. It never happened. Sadly, nothing was the same after that, and that's when the stalking started to happen. You were, in her mind, the other woman. I don't know why. Kelly says she and her husband, Scott, began receiving threatening emails in spring of 2012, seeming to pinpoint her location, tracking her meetings with generals, specifically David Petraeus. Where did you think it was coming from? I didn't know who it was. I thought, is it a terrorist group? Is it a rogue agent? Is it an organized crime? Do they want to harm us? And you I'm thought like, you were in danger. Oh, absolutely. I was scared for my life. That's when she says she went to the FBI for help. Do you describe a pretty harrowing incident involving FBI officials? They told me, Miss Kelly, you got to get in the car immediately. Inside the car was basically like an interrogation. They were trying to make me say I had an affair with General Allen, General Petraeus. And I said to them, this is outrageous. You triggered an investigation that essentially brought down two of the country's top generals. What was your reaction? General Petraeus didn't know that his stalker was his mistress. General Allen didn't know General Petraeus was having an affair. I didn't know he was having an affair. I found out when the whole world found out. Did you feel betrayed? I actually feel sorry for David. In his defense, he was in a difficult situation where he had a very unhappy ex-girlfriend and a, the most amazing job in the world and friends who are now being stalked. If you could send a message to Paula Broadwell, what would you say? I really have nothing to say to her. I wish she never sent those emails. Um, I just hope she's in a better place today. Now, Paula Broadwell was never charged, and she didn't respond to our request for comment. General Petraeus had no comment, and neither did General Allen, who was never accused of any wrongdoing, we should point out. And the FBI has previously denied Kelly's claims of an SUV interrogation. Now, all this said, Kelly is adamant that she is finally breaking her silence after years of not commenting herself to combat what she says is abuse of private information in the hands of public officials for political gain. Now, Kelly is very passionate about her fight to protect the private privacy rights of all citizens. There's a lot going on. Yeah. Yes. It's a big wow. scandal. But she yeah. seemed very candid with you. Yeah. She was. Mm -hmm. She told what her version of the truth was, absolutely. Mm -hmm. right. Her, her, ver I, I, her version well of the said. truth. Yeah. Her version of truth. I like how you said that. Thank okay. you, Juju.